All right, man. I seen an interview where it said that why happened to Detroit Lions? Excuse me. Uh, extended Jared Goff. Let's kind of speak on it. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Or I say interview. I'm in the uh, article. So, um, yeah, they haven't officially agreed to an extension with Amara um, Ross St. Brown either. After some hoopla, them you know some of they was going to agree to the extension. So maybe they trying to, you know, see what else they can do with free agency before, you know, they move according according to plan or whatever. So, yeah, that's been put out there or whatever. So we've been kind of waiting to see if golf is going to get the extension. Also, I think Aleem McNeil was speaking on Hendon Hooker. He did a uh, – I've seen a little headline of articles. They said Hendon Hooker arm is as smooth as butter. So, you know, maybe Jared – maybe they might want to look at Hendon Hooker a little bit more. I know he was supposed to be down there with Teddy Bridgewater – are working out of Miami because Bridgewater was named the new head coach of Miami Northwestern. I know a couple guys went to school with that won a state championship at the school. I remember, you know, they used to love Jacoby, Jacoby Harris. He was a quarterback down there at the University of Miami, too. Didn't really uh, make it to the pros or whatever like that, you know, but he was a real he was a real popular guy. Um, he was a real popular guy down there back back in the day or whatever. So, um but yeah, two reasons Lions have haven't agreed uh, to an extension for Jared Goff. It says coming into the offseason, the Lions were expected to do a one pretty big thing, and that's come to terms to an extension with quarterback Jared Goff. After comments from Goff agent Ryan Tr- Trolliner, it seems that uh, that w- this would be the first thing the Lions would take care of. Here we see the March, and it hasn't happened yet. What's going on? The first thing people might think is the two parties aren't coming uh, to an agreement on terms. Maybe they're far apart on them. Maybe the Lions aren't as serious about golf as we thought they were. Maybe they just wait until the next year. Usually quarterbacks don't don't wait until the last year of their contract. Please believe me. I don't think uh, any of that is what's happening right now. The reason is history tells us both the Lions and golf agents tend to get these things done later instead of sooner. Uh, it said – Lions aside, they have they have done extensions during free agent. They have have done extensions during free agent period. Alexander Zoni got one in twenty twenty two. Tracy Walker, so did Tracy Walker. Those were low level extensions though. Anna Zoni got one year extension, two and a half million. Uh, Tracy Walker um, got a three year extension worth twenty five million. So, but the Lions need to get a major extension done with Frank Ragnow. Uh, 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 the Lions, when the Lions need to get a major extension with Frank Ragnow, they did, they didn't do it until May 6. Uh, that was a $54 million extension. Uh, uh, May Ragnow, the highest paid center in NFL history at the time. That shows the Lions have a history of taking care, taking their time with big stuff. Okay. So there you got it. Told their side, his agent, uh, see the history of his players getting extensions late. Uh, Take his big, his other big quarterback Carson Wentz for example. So yeah, Wentz in golf. Yes, Wentz isn't looked at as a big player anymore. But in 2019, when the Eagles signed him to a 128 million dollar extension, the deal got done in June, long after free agency. So basically, what he's saying is this: this agent's got a history of 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 you know getting his clients big money you know later in the off season. So I don't know if that's because he's a shrewd negotiator or you know there's something to that. Who knows? You know, who knows? The other quarterback told him has worked with got extension with a break boils and he was able to get one done in February. It was just for 54 million over three years. So it wasn't anything major. Only players that he was able to uh he was able to get extension for was Dan Spro- the other uh, uh, only other player he was able to get extension for uh, was Dan Sproles with the Eagles. That was done in July. So there you go. Some things to think about when it comes to Jared Goff's extension. It should be happening this offseason. It might wait until the Lions are done with free agency in the draft, maybe in May or June. It wouldn't be out the question for it to be in July or August. Matthew Stafford and Lions agreed to a huge extension late in August, just before the 2017 uh, season got started. These are th- these things take can take time. I mean, yeah, honestly, yeah. You know, or, you know, usually you don't see – you don't see quarterbacks – going to uh you don't see quarterbacks going to uh you don't see quarterbacks going to the last year they deal you know you don't see that so 
that's historically something that 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 we don't we don't necessarily see a bunch of them going to the last year they deal um without a contract extension so um so that's something to kind of think about real quick but you know nonetheless um you know in my opinion i think it'll get done uh, uh i think it i think it'll get done so that's that's my opinion i think they'll pay him um, now, you know, you know, if Henda Hooker came in and he wasn't injured, he was biting on or clipping at his knee or his, at his ankles last year for the job. And I think that make them, uh, you know, you know, scrap it out. But I think you'll see like a two year extension or something like that. That's what I think you'll see. And, you know, I think they're going to give Henda Hooker at some point an opportunity. Um, they're going to give him an opportunity to, to compete. I think so. You know, I think so. So uh, we'll see. You know, you know, something sometimes you think you can do better, you can do an upgrade, and sometimes you got the perfect fit and don't know it. So, you know, sometimes you can throw golf ain't that good, or you can do this. Maybe they can't do better. Maybe he might be in the best position to succeed right here in Detroit. You know, that that might be. And everybody act like he didn't have any responsibility in that loss to San Francisco. He did. He missed a touchdown to Jameer Gibbs, I believe, right before the half. Like it was on the angle route, missed him. Anytime he got to move his feet, it go in the dirt. A lot of people blame Josh Reynolds for that drop, that first drop. Man, he threw that. Anytime golf got to reset his feet and shuffle his feet, man, you know, it's just not an accurate pass. And he tends to move his feet. He tends to miss low. You know, he tends to miss low. So, you know, that's something to think about. He, t he tends to miss low. I don't know why. He tends to miss low, so, um, but, uh, but yeah, man, he definitely was balling last year, and I, you know, I think, you know, with Ben Johnson, they continue to uh, reinvent um, the offense and do little nuances and, you know, stuff of that nature, so, I mean, I ain't got no complaints, but, um, but, uh, but yeah, man, it is what it is, man, and I think he, I think he gonna get his bread, that's just my humble opinion. I think he gonna get his bread and um, everything gonna be a one. So yeah, I think he gonna end up getting his bread, man. So uh, let me know what you girls and guys think about it, man. Thumbs up the video, share the video, uh, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Um, hit all notification. Please pretend to get notifications. We go live or drop a video. Financially, you want to support the channel? Cash App, Dollar Sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link description. Appreciate the love support. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Peace.